In this video, we're going to move on from using point data and instead draw some shapes on our map. So let's start off by removing our longitude and latitude fields and our image URLs. Instead, we're going to draw the boundaries of the London local authorities. And looking at our data, we can see that we've got the code representing each of those boundaries um, in our code field here. So when we draw those boundaries on the map, we're going to need to link the code represented in the shape files that we upload with the code field in our data. So to do that, I simply drag the code field into this GeoJSON KML tile feature reference field here. So now we need to upload the shapefile into our report. So I can go to the formatting options, expand out data layers, let's turn off images, and we're going to turn on GeoJSON shape KML from a file. And this gives us some additional options down here. So let's expand out the configuration options. And we've got quite a few choices in here. Now, we want to upload our shapefile into the report itself. So um, the default here is to reference an external file on a web URL, but I can change that to uploaded file. And it gives us this option here, display file upload button. So let's turn that on. It displays this blue button over here, over the map. If I click that, we'll get a file upload dialog. And in this case, I'm gonna upload a GeoJSON file. The GeoJSON file contains a number of different shapes, each representing an individual local authority. And if I expand out the formatting options, you'll see that the fill color on each of these is blue. This means that they have been matched with items in our data. If I want to create a choropleth map where each of those different boundaries is shaded based on the values in our data, then I can use standard Power BI conditional formatting to do this. So clicking on this FX button here, let's choose gradient and base it on our value field. Let's hit OK. And you can see that the shading is now based on the values in our data. We can continue to format the other options and perhaps change the transparency.